Last week on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles, as well as the megastar LA Knight, made their way through their respective triple threat elimination matches. And all roads lead to tonight, live from Cleveland on Monday Night Raw. Who will move on to challenge the kingpin of the red brand, the WWE Champion CM Punk, at no mercy on the 14th of September. Styles, LA Knight, number one contendership, hangs in the balance. And also tonight here on Raw, the kickoff to the 2024 inaugural Queen of the Ring Tournament. The bracket revealed this past Saturday in detail for Raw and SmackDown, but right here tonight in Cleveland from the Monday Night Raw side, Bailey set to go one-on-one -on -one with Chelsea Green. Ever-looming issues make their way to the Queen of the Ring Tournament. And for the first time since the month of July, former WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan returns to action. She's got Mi Chin. Two first round matches in the Queen of the Ring Tournament live tonight for the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland on Monday Night Raw. But there is a score to settle with our opening contest. Here on the red brand. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa. It was absolute bedlam back in the month of May at All-Star Raw when the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, aided Dominic Mysterio in victory over Solo Sokoa in the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. All over again, Solo Sokoa was laid waste by the Judgment Day. That chokeslam that you just saw through the announce table sidelined Solo Sokoa for several weeks. And although the bloodline was victorious in the four-on-four -four warfare back at SummerSlam, Solo Sokoa has his own personal issues to settle with multiple members of the Judgment Day. And as for this man, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, win, lose, or draw, he left Raw last week with the blood on his hands. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champion, Damien Last Monday night on Raw, Damien Priest shocking the world with a beatdown that closed out the show. And we're going to take a closer look at the events of seven nights ago. Hey, that's Seth Rollins. What the hell? It's Damien Priest. Priest has got a steel chair and he just cracked it over the skull of Seth freaking Rollins. What the hell is going on? There's always been a partnership between Rollins and the Judgment Day. I, I mean, I, Seth Rollins has had his fair share of disgusting moments himself, but that doesn't mean I condone this. Oh my goodness, Priest with Rollins in the air. Down he goes onto the stage, razor's edge. I understand Rollins has had his moments. But that does not mean this is okay. Oh no, Damian Priest, south of heaven on the concrete floor. Seven nights ago, ties were certainly severed between Seth freaking Rollins and the Judgment Day. And Damian Priest had no problem pulling the trigger and sidelining the visionary. We can confirm that Seth Rollins was stretchered out of the arena last week, has suffered two broken ribs, and will be out indefinitely for the time being. Well, Damian Priest, as we mentioned, with the blood on his hands after last week on Monday Night Raw, but he has got to so focus in, we should say, if we can get our words out, against the street champ Solo Sokoa. A very personal match for Solo, kicking things off here in Cleveland. Solo exploding out of the 
Opening bell, and Damian Priest almost got caught. Solo Sokoa in the bloodline, picking up that victory back at SummerSlam. Less than two weeks ago against the Judgment Day and Seth Rollins in the four-on-four -four warfare. Dominic Mysterio, the one pinned on that night, which makes us question that much more why Damian Priest followed out the plan of the Judgment Day last week and really eradicated Seth freaking Rollins from Monday Night Raw. We've yet to get answers from one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Hopefully we will in due time. Rollins, of course, on the shelf, as we mentioned, but as for Solo Sokoa tonight, looking worse for wear right now, but the street champ did not make his way to Cleveland to come up short to the Archer of Infamy. And speaking of the Judgment Day, they are already signed on for action one week from Saturday at the WWE Live event for channel members only. Be sure to hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards and do not miss that very exclusive action. Solo and Priest, I am sure, on both sides of the ring would not mind breaking this matchup down into a brawl. Especially Solo Sokoa, who, familiar territory right by this announce table, has not forgotten about the events of the month of May that we showed you a few moments ago. Solo Sokoa, several weeks taken out from his career after Damian Priest tossed him that matchup in the King of the Ring tournament to Dominic Mysterio and followed it up with a South of Heaven, not only on the floor at ringside, but right through the announce table. Damian Priest and the Judgment Day continue to make a lot of enemies, and after last week, I am sure they consider Seth Rollins one. You know, we talked about it last week. It almost seemed as if the Judgment Day was pinning their blame for their loss at SummerSlam on Seth freaking Rollins, but in my eyes, that just certainly doesn't add up as Dominic Mysterio was the one who took the pin on that night. Seth Rollins, for all we know, a man who was once called the architect, may have been the one formulating the game plan for Judgment Day. Hopefully, as we mentioned, we find out answers in due time, but right now, Damian Priest is trying to take care of a solo Sokoa problem. Now, I am sure after SummerSlam, the Bloodline is looking for championship opportunities. And Damian Priest looking to send Solo Sokoa to the back of the line of whatever gold he is eyeing up. Off the top rope comes the Archer of Infamy, and Solo Sokoa is still alive. Well, speaking of the Bloodline, Jay and Jimmy Uso in the house tonight in the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. They are set for a massive tag team occasion against Aikam and Rezar of the Authors of Pain. AOP returned to the squared circle several weeks, several weeks ago in a dominant victory against the Creed Brothers here on Raw. AOP and the Usos lock horns later tonight. A matchup that could be extremely influential to number one contendership. Meanwhile, Solo Sokoa, massive maneuver off the top to Damian Priest. And now we got a flying street champ. Samoan splash by Solo. And Damian Priest still in this matchup, but you gotta believe massive damage has been done. Solo Sokoa did not come to play games tonight. He came for his pound of flesh. I am sure in the mind of Sokoa, SummerSlam was only the get-go. And tonight is just a continuation. Did not earn the name of Solo by riding with his family members all throughout his life. He's always been, no pun intended, but a solo act. And he is looking to get things done on his own tonight and carve his own individual path on Monday Night Raw. We have seen destruction at the hands of Solo Sokoa many a times before, but he has been unable to obtain championship gold since joining Monday Night Raw in the early half of 2023. Maybe a victory here tonight against Damian Priest could help put him in championship. Oh, wait a minute here. The Intercontinental Champion Dominic Mysterio making his way out to the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Trying to take the eye off the ball of the street champ. Damian Priest coming from behind, trying to steal the victory off the schoolboy. Not just yet, the enforcer still into this. Well, the Judgment Day always looking to play the numbers game, and you had to believe there was an MO as to why Damian Priest walked out here solo tonight. Couple of near falls there. Solo Sokoa is starting to rev up the engines. Dominic Mysterio taking his eye off the ball. But now here's Damian Priest with Solo in the air. Razor's edge. That's got to do it. Damian Priest 
Looking for the victory, but it's not to be found. Solo Sokoa starting to get back into this matchup. The Intercontinental Champion rearing his dirty, ugly head. And Solo Sokoa may be surviving, but he certainly isn't thriving at the current moment. Oh no, familiar territory for the street champ. He is going south of heaven. And that's gonna do it. Solo Sokoa putting up a valiant effort. But unfortunately for the street champ, the numbers game of the Judgment Day once again put... Oh, wait a minute. Come back to the ring. Dominic Mysterio has marched back out here. And he's got Solo Sokoa back inside the squared circle. Oh, no. Now he's got a steel chair. The Intercontinental Champion, Dominic Mysterio. Look at him. Wait a minute. Make an impact. But so is the former Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, coming to the save. Well, Sami Zayn has still got a bone to pick with the Judgment Day after they cost him his gold back in July in London, England. Sami saving Solo from having salt rubbed in the wounds. Tonight, only the beginning for the Intercontinental Champion, Dominic Mysterio. The eyes of the world will descend upon Madison Square Garden on Saturday night, September the 21st, just as they did less than two weeks ago at Ford Field at SummerSlam. A night where not one, not two, but three women at one point held the claim to being the WWE Women's Champion. Cora Jade cashing in her money in the bank, and she's made a couple of enemies along the way. And we can confirm, coming up in Madison Square Garden at Queen of the Rings, Cora Jade's first defense as women's champion. The stakes couldn't be any higher. A triple front affair with the EST Bianca Belair and the nightmare Rhea Ripley. That's coming up on the 21st of September at Queen of the Ring. But it is time for the tournament to commence. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! For the first time since the Great American Bash in early July, Liv Morgan is back in action here on Monday Night Raw. She has had a roller coaster 2024, winning the Women's Championship back at WrestleMania and unfortunately failing to win it back on several of occasions. But now Liv Morgan gets an opportunity to not only wear the crown, wear the crown, excuse me, of the Queen of the Ring, but also punch her ticket to become the number one contender for championship gold this November at Survivor Series. Well, it is going to be one hell of a month in September. It all begins next Saturday at WWE Live for channel members. We move on to the 14th in Montreal for No Mercy. Of course, the Queen of the Ring event going down on the 21st at Madison Square Garden. And the Cruiserweight Classic kicks off on Sunday, September the 29th from Manhattan, New York. So much action on the horizon, not just in the month of September, but right here tonight in Cleveland on Monday Night Raw. Mi Chin looking for her breakout victory here on the red brand. And a win over a former women's champion in Liv Morgan and punching her ticket to the quarterfinals of the Queen just may be that breakout performance. 
Well, here we go. Highly anticipated tournament all throughout the summer, and it finally kicks off in the back half of it. First round matchup, Liv Morgan, Meek Chin, the queen of the ring tournament has begun. So to come tonight, Bailey and Chelsea Green will lock horns. So much animosity between those two. And of course, the tournament will continue this Friday night on SmackDown. Blair Davenport set to go one-on-one -on -one with Tegan Knox. Nikki Cross set to go one-on-one -on -one with former Women's World Champion Raquel Rodriguez. Each Chin right now looking to be the aggressor in the early moments over Liv Morgan. Last time we saw Liv Morgan was in a losing effort to the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in a last woman standing matchup at Great American Bash in July. Liv Morgan has seen the highest of highs and the lowest of lows throughout 2024. Can she start this return to the ring at a high and get a victory moving on to the quarterfinals? Liv Morgan out of the corner, scaling the ropes here. I expect some great wrestling throughout this tournament, and so far, it is delivering. Beautifully executed drop kick, but Meechin pulling her in. Inside cradle that time, almost stole the victory over a former champion. Meechin, world traveled veteran, has held championships across other promotions around the globe, but is looking for that solidifying victory to start down her road to success here on Monday Night Raw. A win over Liv Morgan could certainly do that. Queen of the Ring Tournament brings so much opportunity for the superstars of Raw and SmackDown. What about TNA superstar? Jordan Grace gonna be a part of the SmackDown side of the bracket in the coming weeks. Not only will the winner of this tournament, as we mentioned, solidify their name in history as the winner of the inaugural Queen of the Ring, but will also earn a championship matchup at Survivor Series in November. Liv Morgan, a little bit of satisfaction on Meek Chin that time. Almost got the victory, but not just yet. Some high octane offense between these two hungry individuals in this first round matchup. On a back and forth as well. Meek Chin throwing some strikes, something she certainly favors Liv Morgan in. Going to the top, Mee Chin not looking to leave any stone unturned. What the hell was that? Corkscrew moonsault, Mee Chin, and now the springboard. Talk about leaving no stone unturned. Mee Chin is looking to start creating her legacy right here tonight in Cleveland. Live to the outside, but clearly that is not somewhere where you can run. Tope Suicida. Me Chin revving up the engines here in the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And Liv Morgan is on the receiving end of the fire and fury from her opponent. Liv looking worse for wear, brought to her feet and sent into the ring, not by will, but by force. On the top again, Mi Chin going for another torch screw, but she went to the well too many times. Crash and burn, Liv Morgan might have had her beat. Wait a minute. Liv unable to capitalize, and Mi Chin's adrenaline still flowing. Knee right to the face. Liv Morgan's looking rocked. Mi Chin going for an upset in the first round of the Queen of the Ring. Liv off the counter into the ropes. Code breaker. And that might do it. Stopping Mee Chin's momentum. Dead in its tracks. Not just yet, she's still alive. Man, what a great matchup to kick things off in the Queen of the Ring Tournament. And now Liv Morgan. Slowing down Mee Chin's momentum by revving up her own. Off the Instaguri, Mee Chin is now the one who may have her bell rock. Spending a lot of energy. Stacking maneuvers one after another a few minutes ago. Let's see if Liv Morgan can do the same here. Nice tilt to world takedown. See Morgan's moving just a little bit slower in the early part of this matchup. That fire from Mee Chin may have taken a lot out of her. Liv may be looking for the kill. Oblivion! A sense of urgency out of Liv Morgan. Causes her to go to the well with her best maneuver. She's moving on. A great performance by Mi Chin. But the back half of this matchup belonging to the former women's champion, Liv Morgan. And no matter the performance from bell to bell, 
It only matters who gets the three count. Liv Morgan's moving on to the quarterfinals. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan! Well, that's got to feel good for Liv Morgan after suffering some heartbreaking losses throughout 2024 thus far. Let us take a look at the bracket. The first superstar eliminated Liv Morgan on her way to the quarterfinals. She will meet the winner of next week's matchup between Piper Niven and the man, Becky Lynch. But who will be moving on? In the Queen of the Ring up next, it's time to find out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Sonya Deville. From Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green! There has been a lot of animosity between Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, and Piper Niven across the pond from Bailey and Becky Lynch. Well, Chelsea Green and Bailey going to write the next chapter in that ever-growing story. It's a first-round matchup in the Queen of the Ring, and it's up next here on Raw. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Raw and SmackDown superstars compete each and every Wednesday only on the Nomination Gaming TikTok. This week, cruiserweight action from Friday Night SmackDown as Wesley is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Nathan Frazier. Certainly a lot of momentum in the Cruiserweight Classic on the line. Go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen right now. Be sure to hit the follow only on the Nomination Gaming TikTok where Velocity goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon. We are back inside the Rocket Mortgage Field House here in Cleveland, Ohio. Bailey approaching the squared circle. And ever since she fell short to Rhea Ripley back at Money in the Bank in July, it's been a bit, little bit of a roller coaster for Bailey here on Monday Night Raw. Certainly a way to get back on top and to start moving towards another championship opportunity. To be advancing in the Queen of the Ring tournament over Chelsea Green. The one thing is. To be said, that is easier said than done as Green, DeVille, and Piper have been watching each other's back for months. Certainly a great friendship has developed there that has benefited many of them at times. Piper Niven, of course, preparing for her anticipated rematch against the man Becky Lynch next week. A lot of animosity between those two individuals as well. Sonya Deville out here with Chelsea Green tonight. I'm sure hoping to be a difference maker to ensure that Bailey does not advance here tonight. All remains to be seen is Chelsea Green has been the aggressor since the opening bell. Bailey did not come back to Monday Night Raw several months ago after two years of ups and downs, nagging injuries, and unable to get any sort of momentum going for herself, whether it was over on SmackDown or Raw, she did not come back to the red brand just to be a footnote in somebody else's career. Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, and even Piper Niven have proven to be problems, and Bailey and Becky Lynch have been at the forefront of dealing with those problems. Just a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Becky Lynch tapped out by Sonya Deville in the midst of tag team action, Bailey falling short in the process as well. Bailey looking to bounce back tonight against Chelsea Green. He counters that time, looking to stop Bailey's momentum before it could even get going. Green's certainly her own biggest fan as Bailey once again taken down to the canvas. May not like Chelsea Green's attitude, may find her annoying at times, but at the end of the day, she is a talented individual. She's held championships in TNA wrestling across the globe as well. And now is looking, just as we said for Mi Chin a few minutes ago, that breakout performance is going to take her to the next level on Monday Night Raw. 
And the Queen of the Ring is rewarding that opportunity for so many superstars. Liv Morgan already moving on after a great opening matchup against Mi Chin. As we mentioned, she will meet the winner of next week's contest between Becky Lynch and Piper Niven. As for Bailey and Chelsea Green, the winner of this matchup will meet the winner of next week's contest between Natalia and Tiffany Stratton. Bailey taking down Chelsea Green, looking for a victory right here, not to be. Bailey, of course, a little bit outnumbered tonight, just as Piper Niven is away preparing for a matchup against Becky Lynch. The man is, of course, doing the same. Becky and Bailey really brought together through this common enemy. But Bailey doesn't have anybody watching her back tonight. Sonya Deville, that much more, could be an X factor. Bailey's best hope is to try to get this match done in a hurry. Wait a minute. Sonya Deville pulling Bailey right out underneath the ring. Just as Bailey was really starting to get going, Sonya Deville proven to be said X Factor, and now Chelsea Green over the top rope takes the momentum back with emphatic force. Well, that's ridiculous. Bailey really getting going in this matchup. Sonya Deville causing a little bit of a distraction, and now Green might have just got her ticket punched to the quarterfinals. Off the destroyer. And Bailey's still alive. Bailey has held championships across all brands in WWE and is not looking to fall short of this massive opportunity. But Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville may not give her a choice. <laughs> Bailey's got to find a way to shake off the cobwebs, keep Sonya Deville in the back of her mind while also keeping her eye on her in the peripheral. Down goes Chelsea Green momentarily, but can Bailey capitalize? Oh, wait a minute here. There we go. A little Bailey to Billy. But Chelsea Green gets the shoulder up this time. Some signature maneuvers out of the arsenal, both Bailey and Green, not bringing us to a finish line just yet. But Bailey sees an opportunity and is looking to strike Rose Plant. Opposite side of the ring from Sonya Deville, not to be a factor as Bailey is moving on. Here is your winner, Bailey. You notice how Bailey started wrestling on the opposite side of the ring, just as Chelsea Green brought her there. Bailey realized fighting away from Sonya Deville was her best shot. Bailey to belly. A little sprinkle on top of that with the rose plant. And now Chelsea Green is hitting the showers. Bailey is moving on in the Queen of the Ring tournament. We look towards next week in Calgary, Alberta, when Natalia returns to Canada to take on Tiffany Stratton. Plus, animosity comes to a head when Piper Niven and the man Becky Lynch meet in a rematch from last month in London, this time in the midst of the Queen of the Ring tournament. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Last week here on Raw, the Nigerian giant Omas picked up a victory over Cedric Alexander, but he wasn't done. After the bell, the beatdown continued. Omas has just been rolling over superstars that I'll bite are way less than his size. Well, luckily for Cedric Alexander, the reemergence of the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Strowman making his way to the ring to put an end to Omas's attack. Omas laid to waste by somebody who can actually stare him eye to eye in Braun Strowman. We can confirm that next week, it's the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman returns to action for the first time since the month of February, right here on Monday Night Raw.
And for the first time since SummerSlam, the Usos are in your city! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, and a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy his J. Well, I am sure these two individuals are not pleased with what happened to their brother Solo Sokoa earlier tonight, but they also understand that Sokoa's always been a little bit of a drifter. They don't call him Solo for nothing. He's got to deal with his own issues in the Intercontinental Champion Dominic Mysterio that we saw at the top of the hour. But as for Jay and Jimmy, you got to believe they are iron up an opportunity to once again become the World Tag Team Champions against Damian Priest and Finn Balor. SummerSlam was only the beginning. The Usos want their championship gold back. But these two individuals have been on a warpath in only a handful of occasions since returning to Monday Night Raw, already making a significant impact. And the former NXT Tag Team Champions, Akam and Razor, are looking to stake their claim at top contendership. And their opponents at a combined weight of 600 and 40. Just a few weeks ago, the authors of Pain, a victory over Brutus and Julius Creed. Akam and Razor brought back to Monday Night Raw, dare I say his henchmen, for the harbinger of doom carrying Cross. We said it weeks ago, the hell that Cross has unleashed here on the red brand is, wait a minute, Braun Breaker, Baron Corbin, payback for what happened several weeks ago when AOP returned. Akerman, Razor, Ambush, Breaker, and Corbin in the aisle way when they made their return to the red brand. These two individuals in Mr. Money in the Bank and the Lone Wolf have still not forgotten. There is so much unfinished business involving Breaker and Corbin against Cross and the AOP. Well, something's got to give there. This matchup going to go off without a hitch. And Razor and Aka might have just got pissed off for that little pre-match skirmish with Breaker and Corbin. Remember when they picked up the victory over the Creed brothers just a few weeks ago, Breaker and Corbin were there as well to reign on the parade of the AOP. Ron Breaker has had issues with Kerry and Cross. Baron Corbin's had a hell of a lot of issues with Cross as well. Once the AOP got involved, those issues were just taken to the next level. Ron Breaker and Baron Corbin still looking to settle the score with all three individuals. Over the last few weeks, they are settling for any pound of flesh they can get. Nonetheless, as we mentioned, that pre-match skirmish might have just pissed off the AOP as this bell has sounded without a hitch and they've been all over Jimmy Uso. Gotta imagine the Usos fired up tonight. They have been wrestling to perfection since their Monday Night Raw return last month. Also picked up a victory over Brutus and Julius Creed at WWE Live last, or just a few weeks ago, we should say. And of course, on the winning side, along with the bloodline, the four-on-four -four warfare at SummerSlam. Jay and Jimmy have had a hell of a 2024. Winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, courtesy of Monday Night Raw, defeating Priest and Balor for the World Tag Team titles back at WrestleMania. Really that night where things got taken to the next level. You remember what happened at Vengeance back in May? Jay and Jimmy walking in as tag team champions, but thanks to Dominic Mysterio proving to be the difference maker on that night. Priest and Balor winning back the gold, becoming three-time tag team champions here on Monday Night Raw. Now that Jay and Jimmy have been back and they have been successful, they can pick up this victory over Aikam and Razor tonight, which is a hell of a lot easier said than done. Jay and Jimmy may be undeniable number one contenders, and Priest and Balor may have to deal with another go-around with these two Samoan brothers. All well, remains to be seen what is going to happen. The Monday Night Raw tag team division certainly heating up with the addition of Akam and Razor. They are not looking to be a footnote in the Usos' road back to number one contendership. 
Aikerman Razar might have been brought back to Raw thanks to Kerry and Cross, but I am sure they have got their own game plan to seek and destroy each and every tag team in that locker room. Right now, Jay Uso is feeling the brunt of it. Trying to hang in there. Down goes Aikum. If anybody can give the AOP a run for their money, it's one of the greatest tag teams to ever do it. Jay and Jimmy have been in the ring with damn near them all. They've seen them all, they've done them all, beaten them all. The Uso's just looking for another crack at tag team championship gold. Very rare, even when you go back to their NXT days and their days here on Monday Night Raw, that you see Akam and Razar in positions like this, but that is a testament to Jay and Jimmy's offense. Reversal that time by Akam going right behind with a powerful rushing leg sweep. Referee John Cone slide into the cover, but Jimmy Uso's heart is still beating. So they come tonight here on Monday Night Raw, the megastar LA Knight. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Phenomenal, AJ Styles. The winner of that matchup will challenge CM Punk for the WWE Championship on the 14th of September in Montreal at No Mercy. Aikam and Razor looking to tear through Jay and Jimmy Uso tonight, and then I am sure they got something coming for Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker, as well as the Lone Wolf, who's not necessarily been acting like a Lone Wolf ever since this alliance with Breaker, Baron Corbin. Really an alliance brought together through the actions of the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. Well-documented history there. with so much unfinished business throughout the summer. Karrion Cross has beat down Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker. Whether he did it with his own hands or weeks ago when he stuck the AOP on him. They've been on the receiving end of one too many beatdowns, and I think they have had enough. Looking to settle the score. When that will be, all remains to be seen. If Aikam and Razar win this matchup tonight and possibly align themselves for a future tag team title opportunity, Ron Breaker and Baron Corbin may be waiting to get even for quite some time. Jay Uso tagged in. The Uso's doing all they can to hang in there with these two heavyweights. Oof. AOP ain't never been afraid to bend the rules, that's for damn sure. Jay Uso going behind, picking up the speed and using the agility. Maybe their best attempt at taking down the AOP. Razor's foot underneath the bottom rope. I'm not sure referee John Cone caught that, but it was a kick out nonetheless. It's been back and forth. Certainly a clash of styles here between two Monday Night Raw tag teams and the Usos and the Authors of Pain. Some great wrestling all around tonight here in Cleveland, Ohio as the Queen of the Ring tournament has kicked off and of course a very physical matchup with Damian Priest and Solo Sokoa at the top of the hour. Very interesting situation developing there with Solo, Sami Zayn coming to his aid earlier tonight, Intercontinental Champion Dominic Mysterio trying to take out the street champ. Should be interesting to see how that continues to develop week after week here on Monday Night Raw. Right now, Jimmy Uso, as long as with his brother Jay, just trying to find a way to keep down Razor. Aikam and Razor are finding themselves in that rare air where it's one thing to knock him down, it's a whole other thing to keep him there. Going to the outside, but if there's one thing we know about the Usos, ringside is not a safe place. Jimmy Uso taking things to the air, a little Uso crazy throwback, if you will. Razor down, and he's got a little bit for Aikum as well, who's thrown this fair share of cheap shots throughout this contest. Now it's Jey Uso, tope suicida. Down goes Razor again. The Usos leaning on their speed and agility and high octane offense to try to match the power and certainly the destruction of the authors of pain. Look how long that momentum lasted. AOP inside the ring, Jey Uso focusing on the wrong individual. But maybe not, Razor still has his bell rung. Got hit with not one but two flying Usos a couple of moments ago. And look at the strength, gutsy by Jey. Into the cover, on Razor. It ain't over yet. 
Tag team offense at its best here on Monday Night Raw as Jey Uso scales the ropes, all the while Razor making the tag to Akam. Tag made to Jimmy this time, and Akam taking advantage of the illegal competitor and sends Jey Uso for a ride. Kick by Jimmy, making a dose. Action is picking up hot and heavy here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Razor not allowing a finish just yet. Back and forth we start to go. In the last minute or so, another tag made to main event J. And down goes Akam. If the Usos are going to win this matchup, they got to strike while the iron's hot. Akam may have his bell rung after those series of kicks by Jimmy. Jay added a little salt in the wounds. Here's Jay Uso now. Oh, but there's a counter by the more powerful Akam who goes behind and once again sends Jay Uso for an amusement park ride. That ain't taking any amusement. Is Jay Uso, I'll tell you that for sure. Just like that, the AOP. Flip the switch, and a rushing leg sweep on Jey Uso, who feels the power of the Authors of Pain. Two men brought back to Raw by Karrion Cross. Two men who have been led by the mindful Paul Ellering. Meanwhile, Jey Uso inside Cradle. He just stole the victory over the Authors of Pain. The Uso's catching him slipping. Hard fought, the word of that matchup, and a deserving victory for Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. Oh, wait a minute. Not the World Tag Team Champions. Oh, wait, come back to the ring. Damian Priest and Finn Balor have ambushed the Usos with a pair of steel chairs. The Judgment Day causing distraction, and now in between the confines of the ropes, causing destruction. The issues between the Judgment Day and the Usos are far, far from over. Coming your way on Saturday night, September 14th, witness the aftermath of the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present No Mercy! No Mercy comes to you live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss championship flashes, personal battles, high stakes, and high rewards all on the line on the 14th of September at WWE No Mercy! And who is going to No Mercy? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The Throughout the summer, the phenomenal AJ Styles has found himself in a bit of a rebuilding stage here on Monday Night Raw. He has secured a hell of a lot of singles victories, but last week, the most important victory of them all, Triple Threat Eliminator against Jack and Big Brunson Reed, AJ Styles cleaning the floor with both of them. But now Styles moves on to try to cap off the summer at the highest of highs. Will he become the number one contender for the WWE Championship? Styles believed to be the favorite by many as he owns a recent victory over the megastar LA Knight dating back several weeks before SummerSlam here on Monday Night Raw. Will that play a factor in the confidence of the phenomenal one? All remains to be seen. But when you talk confidence, 
Maybe nobody has more than this man. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight doing just as AJ Styles did in the main event of Raw last week. A victory over Karrion Cross and Baron Corbin. Clean sweep for the defiant one. Hot off the heels of a victory over Dijak at SummerSlam as well. And the interesting situation for LA Knight is he has unfortunately fell short to AJ Styles in recent weeks. But you go back to WWE Live a week prior to SummerSlam, LA Knight also fell short to CM Punk winning a battle royal at the top of WWE Live to move on to the main event. Went one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk for the WWE Championship. Punk retaining the title on that night. Are those recent losses gonna be in the mind of LA Knight as he walks into this number one contenders matchup here in Cleveland? All remains to be seen for the megastar. It is a chance to right not one but two wrongs of his recent outings. And after last week, not only picking up a victory at SummerSlam, but riding that momentum into the main event of Monday Night Raw, LA Knight is looking better than ever. It's the man who held the Intercontinental Championship from July of 2023 to March of 2024. And LA Knight for months has been trying to get back in championship contention here on Monday Night Raw, really entangled in a fight throughout the summer with Dijak that he came out on the other side of as a successor at SummerSlam. Now LA Knight looks to move on, but he runs into one of the best to ever do it in the phenomenal AJ Styles. Talked about how AJ Styles owns a victory over LA Knight. It's dating back several weeks before SummerSlam, and I'll bite, a lot of that has to do with the help of Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, and most importantly, with a pre-match attack from Dijak that had LA Knight all discombobulated. Now the slate is clean. No Dijak and no Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows out here tonight, which you got to give credit to Styles for. It is mano a mano. Number one contendership for No Mercy is on the line. Both of these men certainly earning their spots in this Eliminator final, if you will. After LA Knight coming off, coming out, I should say, at the other end of a roller coaster summer. On the other side, AJ Styles. He's continued to rebuild his momentum here on Monday Night Raw. We'll certainly be looking at a deserving number one contender when the other bell sounds. Talked about LA Knight holding the Intercontinental Championship for as long as he did. The phenomenal AJ Styles winning the United States Championship last year at Survivor Series in the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, held it all the way through WrestleMania and to the month of April. In the Monday Night Raw, had aspirations of being a champion, did not work out, but now another opportunity on the horizon if he can get through a very highly motivated megastar here tonight. Right now, LA Knight is on top of things. Suicide died to the outside, AJ Styles going down. Styles was able to survive the numbers of Dijak and Brunson Reed and clean sweep them both just as LA Knight did to Baron Corbin and Karrion Cross. Will these two men be able to get the job done where it matters most? That is the question that we look to have answered in this Monday Night Raw main event. An awesome night of action thus far. Thank you for joining us for the Rockin' Mortgage Fieldhouse here in Cleveland, Ohio. We're on the verge of what is gonna be one hell of a month of September here in the WWE. And one of these superstars gonna be punching their ticket to one of the top main events at No Mercy. Off the DDT, LA Knight still alive. Great maneuver by Styles, however, showing why he has earned the nickname of the Phenomenal One throughout his legendary career. Down goes LA Knight. Styles just got so many ways to beat you, so many ways to incapacitate you. He can take things to the air. High octane offense if need be, but he can also grapple you down to that canvas and beat you down with his fist. Styles has not been a world-renowned success for no reason. Former TNA World Champion, former IWGP Champion, former WWE Champion. LA Knight, on the other hand, 
looking for his first crack at becoming the main event, becoming the guy, becoming the champion here in the WWE. Of opportunities have gone by the wayside over the last couple of months for the megastar. Most recently, that loss to CM Punk. Some familiarity could breed a different result if the defiant one can stand across the ring from the Second City Saint on the 14th of September. All remains to be seen. He's just going to get through the phenomenal one, one match at a time tonight. LA Knight started to break things down to a brawl. Styles dishing it right back off the elbow. And an elbow forearm. Whatever it was, it was effective. As we talked about, AJ Styles not afraid to break things down to a brawl if need be. He has been there. He has done that. And he may have the confidence on his side as he has beaten LA Knight in recent history. Calf Crusher locked in. LA Knight facing far from the ropes. AJ Styles has beaten some of the best of them with the submission hold, but I don't think he's done enough damage to the lower half of LA Knight for it to be super effective at this point in time. LA Knight begins to scale the ropes and has got his eyes on the phenomenal AJ Styles. Knight looking a little far out, and that was a veteran move by LA Knight not to risk it. Don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. Knight realizing Styles was a little bit too far for that leap. Elected to bring things back down to the canvas. Veteran move by LA Knight, and look how it has paid him dividends. Patience for the megastar is a virtue tonight. AJ Styles looking down and out after some very simple maneuvers by LA Knight. Not emptying the tank just yet, but now starting to get fired up. Knee, clothesline, Styles may be out. Not just yet, Styles still alive. I'm sure the WWE Champion, the kingpin of Monday Night Raw, CM Punk has got his eyes in the bedlam that is taking place in the midst of this Monday Night Raw main event, trying to scout who will be his number one contender for No Mercy. Punk retaining that title over LA Knight at WWE Live, defeating Kevin Owens in their second outing, back at SummerSlam to once again regain the gold. Now the second city saint looks to move on to different pastures here on the red brand. Will it be familiar territory with LA Knight? Or will he lock horns with AJ Styles, somebody who he has never competed inside a WWE ring against? LA Knight was looking good for a few moments there, but Styles has turned the tables. Oh no, now going behind. LA Knight on his shoulders, burning hammer. AJ Styles proving what we said a few minutes ago. So many ways to incapacitate his opponent. This has been a very different matchup than the one we saw a month and change ago here on Monday Night Raw when LA Knight fell short to Styles. That pre-match attack by Dijak, the outside X-Factors and Anderson and Gallows really threw LA Knight off his game. But tonight, he is looking to prove that this is LA Knight's game. Off the elbow, not enough to get the three count. Three not to be, but LA Knight moving one step forward. Goes after Styles in the corner. A reversal by the phenomenal one that time, who is not looking to see LA Knight continue this momentum as we enter deep waters in this number one contender's main event. High stake, high reward, nobody looking to slip up. Certainly been a night filled with opportunity as the Queen of the Ring tournament kicked off tonight. We look ahead to next week, Becky Lynch, Piper Niven, Natalia, Tiffany Stratton, and of course Braun Strowman returning to Squared Circle next week. All coming your way live from Calgary, Alberta in the Saskatchewan Bank Saddle Dome. But tonight we are here in the Rocket Mortgage Field House in Cleveland, Ohio, where the phenomenal AJ Styles and the megastar LA Knight are duking it out for number one contendership to CM Punk's respective gold. Knight taking to the outside. Styles gonna meet him there. Vintage forearm Styles is feeling what he is serving. And LA Knight. On the other hand, not looking so hot. Or maybe we spoke too soon. A little bit of 
distance created. Styles sent right to those diamond-plated steps. LA Knight's hot off the heels of a Detroit street fight at SummerSlam. If that night showed you anything, that LA is willing to do anything he's got to do to get the victory. Referee John Cones at a count of seven right now. Make that eight. Oh, but LA Knight breaking up the count. LA Knight looking to ensure that he gets a statement-making victory tonight. You got to commend the defiant one for that. On the outside, beautifully executed neck breaker. LA Knight not looking to win this matchup via count out, but saw an opportunity to inflict some punishment from the outside. Meanwhile, Styles hangs up LA Knight in the top, turning his table. Can't gloat to the audience for too long, or the phenomenal one's gonna catch you. Now Styles back in control, and if he wasn't already, that brain bruster is gonna do the trick. And LA Knight might have been a rope break that time. Not exactly sure from our vantage point, but getting the shoulder off the canvas nonetheless. Styles starting to come unglued. He has dished out a lot of heavy offense in this matchup, and LA Knight will not go down. Styles has got to keep his head on straight, cannot allow himself to get frustrated here, and cost himself number one contendership to the WWE title. Styles go behind. LA Knight trying to get back into this. AJ says otherwise. It's been a great wrestling matchup, pound for pound, all the way through between two of the best in this industry today. But who is going to duke it out against the man who claims to be best in the world for the richest prize in the industry? And there you see the toll of this matchup starting to be taken as LA Knight just collapses off getting sent into the turnbuckles. All the offense Styles has dished out has not gotten him the three count just yet. And that may be because LA Knight has still got some adrenaline in his soul. Another combination of strikes. Whenever LA Knight's got left, it is now time to empty the tank. On the top rope where he elected against earlier, but maybe this time we'll write a different story. Going for the axe hammer, and that's exactly why LA Knight was cautious early on. Inside cradle by Styles. Not just yet. Styles trying to take the victory right out from underneath the nose. LA Knight with his enough wherewithal to pop the shoulder off the canvas. And again, the toll of this matchup as LA Knight's weakened body, his own momentum, sends him over the top. Now Styles springboard, Acai Moonsault to the outside. Styles continues to empty the tank with what brought him to the dance. Unfortunately, nothing has been enough to keep down LA Knight. Well, maybe that will. A little eye for an eye as now it is LA Knight getting sent right to those steel steps. LA Knight, or I shall, shall say AJ Styles, just as we talked about earlier, needs to break this thing down to a brawl if he needs to get physical. If he needs to use the ringside to his advantage, he will do just that. LA Knight set to the WWE Universe. Styles gonna meet him there. Wait a minute. LA Knight, hold on. He, he might have just outsmarted Styles, playing a game of cat and mouse. Both men back into the ring. Kick, blood force trauma. Knight might have just caught. The phenomenal one! Not just yet, AJ Styles still alive! Oh my goodness! Styles, whether it was intentional or not, sent LA Knight over the barricade into the WWE Universe, was about to meet him there until LA Knight turned the tables. Going for another blood force trauma. AJ catching the boot, creating some distance. Now it is Styles looking for the exclamation point. Styles clash on the Mega Star. But now it is LA Knight who is still in this contest. Both men pulling the trigger with their best shots. Unfortunately, their best is not enough to get it done. And once again, LA Knight's own momentum sends him over the top rope. Fatigue is playing a factor in the late rounds of this contest. Which one of these superstars just wants it more? Who is going to be the number one contender to the WWE title? Phenomenal forearm! That's 
got to do it. Not just yet. L.A. Knight wants this matchup just as much as he desires to have breath in his lungs. Oh, my goodness. Styles Clash doesn't do it. BFT doesn't do it. Phenomenal Forearm doesn't do it. And now Styles is getting pissed off. Now he's coming unglued once again. We saw frustration start to take over Styles earlier. It seemed as if he got his head on straight. But after he is dished out, his one-two best shot, and LA Knight is still into this, Styles is now digging for deeper answers. LA Knight's up on the steel part of the entrance ramp, and AJ just taking out his knee. Nothing pretty about that. Styles may be looking for the count out victory. Could be looking to incapacitate LA Knight. Right on that steel, right on that concrete. Styles is beating the hell out of the megastar. Styles better keep his ear on referee John Cone. These two men have had a phenomenal matchup. You don't want to see it go by the wayside. I don't think Styles gives a damn at the current moment. Referee's at a count of eight. And he is continuing to beat down LA Knight on that steel grate. And referee is called for 10. This matchup's going to a double count out. Well, Styles had a chance, realistically, to run back in the ring and ensure victory, but I think frustration has boiled over and he is looking to incapacitate LA Knight at ringside. I hate to see this matchup go without a winner, go without a finish. Number one contender now, yet to be determined, but what we do know is AJ Styles is pissed off and he's taking it out on LA Knight. Oh no, not at ringside. Styles clash to the megastar. And that's where AJ Styles starts to act in an unnecessary manner strutting like a winner, but he is not one because this matchup went to a double count out. Oh, wait a minute. Well, AJ Styles taking out LA Knight, standing tall like he's some winner. CM Punk reminding the phenomenal one that if you want to fight, I'm standing right here. The WWE Champion arriving on the scene. We saw the great respect be developed between CM Punk and LA Knight. Back at WWE Live several weeks ago, Punk not gonna sit idly by while AJ Styles tries to make himself an impact. Well, AJ Styles' adrenaline's flowing. CM Punk might have picked the wrong moment. Now it's Styles with Punk and a Styles clash to the WWE Champion. Bedlam here on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight taken out. CM Punk taken out. Styles is standing tall. But who the hell is going to be the number one contender for the WWE Championship?